Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, crucery, salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chesh, yakshi, mash, ni ho, an yong, and hey to Sweden. Uh, so today you join me in the workshop, and we're going to be working on something that I have worked on before, you have seen in a previous video, but now it's time to actually get it finished. And this is the Hoover model U1220, it's a 400 watt Hoover Turbo Power Junior. Um, it's got the badge of Madge on the front of it, made in Britain. Now, this machine was given to me as a donor machine, but it was, there was some parts missing on it. Uh, and I have used it as kind of a donor machine, but now I've got the parts back from other people. And it's time now to reassemble it and actually get it working as a working machine. So it's covered in dust because it's been under there for absolutely ages. I needed some parts off it and I got some parts thanks to Sam. Sam got me this, go check out his channel, description of channel in the video description, go check it out. So I've got all the parts that I need now, I think, I hope, to put this beast back together. So let's get you guys a little bit closer over to the bench, let's get the lights on, get you over and let's see what we're doing. Right, okay, where do we start? Blumenek. Um, let's put this down on the floor. Okay, so I got a buck I got a bucket of cloths. No, I got a bucket of water and a pile of cloths. So here is the top of the machine. It's very badly scratched, but it's not too bad if you know what I mean. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for polishing it because one polish with this and this will just all be gone so it might look lovely and amazing and shiny but um, there'll be nothing left i don't know how rare these machines are but it was given to me as an unwanted project i've already cleaned it once but because it's been hanging around so long i need to give it another wipe over and a quick kind of freshen up because it's been hanging around for so long. So if you guys are aware, I do have a second channel called Hogwash. I've had it for about a year. It was called Ajigugu. And it was kind of just something that I could use to stick washing machine videos on that didn't have any intro kind of like a as the no frills kind of thing smart price channel so I decided right because I have so many washing machine videos and stuff already set up and scheduled for Hooverlux restorations I thought I'm going to do a bit more now with this hogwash channel so that's what I've done so I changed its name and created a logo and all that malarkey and done all the thumbnails and stuff for the previous videos that I've already uploaded to it. So that's already there and I've put some new videos on. And then last night, obviously not last night when you watch this, but the, the day before I'm making this, one of my amazing subscribers uh, by the name of Craig um donated money to the channel through the paypal me <coughs> um because i was looking for a new machine uh, a brand new washing machine um, a very inexpensive one that a lot of people a majority of people would just go out and buy so that i could do some videos on it so that's what i did i've ordered it on argos and it's the cheapest va the cheapest washing machine you can buy in argos I'm not going to give you any details, ha ha. And so that's arriving on Thursday. And then I'm going to feature that then in the Hogwash channel. Now, the reason for the Hogwash channel is because the majority of my time goes on these, on the Hooverlux restorations, there's no intros or, or the, the, there won't be many intros and outros and music and editing and all that malarkey on there. 
so like I said it's going to be more of like a no frills as the smart price whoopsie bargain basement kind of thing but sometimes you might want that you might just want to take a look at it just to see the machines itself and not have to listen to me I know I do Just give these a quick wipe over. That's a bit carbon dusty. So there was a couple of things in this I needed to replace that were missing. And one of them was the um, bolt on the handle. So I replaced the handle and I was doing a refurb. It, it was almost, you know, it was, it was complete. Um, and then I was doing another turbo power video restoration and I desperately needed parts. So that was the end of that. spring thing okay so that's all in so this is the main part of the machine I just need to take a photograph all right that's the motor this is the body let me get my screwdriver actually let me vacuum out the dust so this was the temporary sticky stuff that I put on there sticky pad but now I have the proper thing Okay, so there we go. So that is that now. So, oops, my light. So that now stands up without a lean. So that's better. So I'll pop that down on the floor a minute. I'm going to pour myself a little cup of coffee. Coffee. And my little thermi. Let me just give this another quick wipe over. Now, as you can see from this, this is a not the motor from the machine. This one has a light bulb um, on it, so it's from a different turbo power, but it doesn't matter. Right. Those two are fine. That one's got a little bit of grip left into it, but that one is completely broken off. So I'm gonna have to hash something. 
Okay, so that took a little bit of Blue Peter ingenuity, but it's tight, so that's good. We all like it when it's tight. Okay, so that seems okay. Now, we have this to put on. Okay, so we got that fixed in. Let's just secure in this uh, light, even though we're not going to be using it. Just put it in place. Let's put this cover on, like so. Now, issue number two. I've only got one of these. Baka. So... I'm definitely going to put this one on here. And I need to find something to go onto them because that that can't be loose. That has to be that has to be tight. But what I've got, I can't find anything that'll fit it and I haven't got any spare. So I've got some gorilla and I'll tell you what I'm going to do some skinny gorilla. Is I'm going to put it around here. And with it being in the machine with this on it and squished in it should keep it in place a lot better so i'm going to use a strip of skinny gorilla Ugh. not ideal i know don't comment uh, there we go i think that one goes I think that goes towards the top, I think. Yeah, so it goes that way. That's the strap for it, those are the screws for it. Oh gosh, it knows one thing I haven't done, it's not gonna work at all until I put the carbon brushes back in. Ha ha. So nice easy machine this is for that because they just slide in through the side. So he said. There we go. Push the coil down gently and then close your flaps. Same on the other side. Oops. Goes in there like that, that goes in there like that. And then these go <laughs> I've forgotten where these go. I can't find where does the other one go then? I can't find a spare. Spare thingy. What? It goes in like that. And it goes down there, down there. I'm gonna have to stop a second. I'm completely and utterly confused over this. Okay, so I had a look at the video that I did on this. There was two parts, the refurb and everything. Obviously, I'm to do it again because I used it then as a donor machine. And this is completely different to the other one. It should be black, the same color as that. So that's why it doesn't look right because it's a bit of a hish mish mash. So I've put it together. I've got the wires connected up. So I'm going to fit a 
Actually, before I do that, um, shall I do this before or after? I'll tell you what I'll do before I put the motor in. Let's get this, the dust pipe connected up to it. Because it's a lot easier to get it in when the motor's loose, he said. Let's get the strap around it. Right, here goes the big test. Is it gonna go kaboom or is it gonna go rrrr? Let's find out. Right, okay, it didn't go kaboom. Okay, and it actually sounds okay. Whew. That's always a good sign. All right, let's unplug the thing. Now I think we are ready to put the hood back on. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to have to look for the um, height adjuster because it's probably fallen off at the back, so I have to go and look for that because I can't find it. Right, next I need to go and get a bag. Okay, let's try it. Sometimes trying to get <laughs> a scrap machine to work is hard. I know what it is. It's the fan. It's the fan in the motor.
just have a quick look. fan so unfortunately my little whippersnappers I've had to I'm having to end the video here because I am unable to get the motor to work properly with the fan and everything so um, I've taken out the motor and I'm gonna have to have a look uh, for a uh, donor machine or a donor motor because this just can't be cobbled together that's broken there it's just too much cobbling it really really needs a new motor but I'll keep this because I'll harvest parts off it for future projects definitely they'll come in handy but um, I put everything back inside and I've put it all back together so it's in better condition than what it was we've got the handle now the height adjustment handle working thanks to Sam but um, yeah that's all we need to get now is a new motor a replacement one and then we can um, finish it off which will technically be part three for it or part four actually because this is going to be the part three but um yes yeah, so sometimes some of the projects don't work straight away and you need to sort of like carry on looking for bits and bobs and, and just try and cobble it together but this is just beyond cobbling so i hope you've enjoyed sorry that we couldn't get it completely working today but we will in the future definitely get it back on the floor get it back doing its job and uh, yeah i've enjoyed looking at it again I'll put it somewhere tidier now where it's not going to get damaged or anything. It's not in pieces. I'll have a look for the height adjustment knob. That's got to be here somewhere. Um, I'll have a look underneath there where I where I put all the parts and see if I can find it. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Next time, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, y'all.